when it comes to some of these stories and some of the issues around the sort of the courts of heaven and that type of thing they're sort of told in a form which is how they describe them okay so kings was written from their perspective where did they get that revelation from well obviously they weren't there so either someone told them so they could record it because they weren't there were they now a prophet could have heard from god and then told someone this is what god told me and then they write it down but they write it down often in a way that comes out of their understanding of god yeah so in the that, old yeah. testament their understanding of god was undifferentiated from good and bad the devil and god so the devil did good bad things for god really yeah. Right. rather than well no the devil didn't cooperate with god because he was in against what god's purposes were but god used obviously some of what the devil did to bring something out of it but that doesn't mean that god said to the devil go and kill these people the devil did that on his own because he was a, a, a murderer from the beginning a liar so he's always wanting to destroy kill and destroy so god didn't assign him to rob kill and destroy people and their what they did opened up the opportunity for reaping what they had sowed and then the devil took that opportunity of bringing about negative things in people's lives but the hebrews recorded it as if god did it mm -hmm. but god didn't do it so some of those stories may well be a reflection of their view of what happened that the sort of fallen angel whichever one it was whatever came before god and actually god then assigned it but i don't believe that's actually what happened but it could be the way they saw it happening yeah I therefore i don't necessarily believe the reports of the old testament are necessarily totally what god dictated to them so were prophets giving false prophecy yep we know there are a whole load of prophets of baal who were obviously prophesying things which weren't coming from god but they're called prophets but they weren't following god they were following some fallen being who was giving them information to prophesy with we know balaam and the whole story there and you know so in a sense i would not be really looking to get my revelation through things written in the old testament now there are some things that you know we, we often use joshua the high priest you know coming before god and being throned and god giving him a verdict and whatever as one that talks about the court and that may well be a reflection of the court of mobile court of accusation um it doesn't talk about the devil being there or anything else um, but it is talking about something happening when someone comes before a court um i think i mean i personally i don't know robert anderson i've listened to a couple of his things i've not i've not got any books of his i do believe sort of there's a there's this big issue over whether everything is finished or whether we need to be involved in things being completed or outworked so there's this sort of one way of looking at it well it's the finished work of jesus why do we need to do all this cleansing our dna and doing all this if we're new creations well we may be a new creation but if we don't know it and there are lies which are stopping us coming into that knowledge then those things need to be dealt with and god will help us deal with those things so that we can know the truth and live in the truth but i would in general not be really looking to build a theology of how we operate in the new testament from and in the new covenant out of the old covenant because i think we can run in all sorts of ideas which um can get us into trouble because they're coming from a different perspective and they're coming from a different religious perspective and totally different belief about god so when the when the prophets did start to come and start god started to talk to them about the new covenant that was coming getting them in preparation for jesus's coming 
they started saying things which were really contradictory to things that have been thought before or written before. <laughs> like, you know, God didn't want sacrifices and offerings. So what have you been doing this last 2000 years? You know, <laughs> you know, it's like God didn't want it. Um, David had that revelation because he really had more of a connection to the heart of God, you know, which was more a contrite heart is all you're looking for. You know, so there was these sort of revelations that began to change their view of who God was. So their view in the beginning, right at the beginning, God wanted us to give him an offering. So he wanted us to kill a lamb or give him crops or whatever. So you had Cain's offering of works and you had Abel's offering of a lamb. Well, it says in Hebrews that Abel offered a better sacrifice. Didn't mean that it was a good, it was what God wanted. It was just not done in works. And it didn't mean it was right. And we read into that. Oh, God wanted him to give this lamb. Well, nowhere did it record that. It just declared that a, he did it by faith, believing that it was a good thing to do. And so God accepted it because he operated in faith. But God didn't want him to give a sacrifice of an animal any more than he wanted Cain to give a sacrifice of his crops. But they were both religious systems that they set up from their own lack of relationship with God. But we read them and think one's better than the other. Well, in one sense, you could say Abel's was not works of his hands. But it doesn't mean that God wanted sacrifices. So we've got to be careful how we interpret those things. So I wouldn't personally be building my understanding out of those things I see written there. Because I think you can then run into problems. Because you can run into problems like thinking, oh, so the fallen angels serve God and God assigns them to go and do bad things. Well, no, he doesn't. They do that on their own quite easily. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.